Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2017-18 Panini Prison Basketball 10 box uh, random team break number two. Two sold out before number one. So if you still see one on the side and you're a little confused, that's why it sold out first. Blaster edition, by the way. There it is right here. 2017-18 Blaster edition. All right, big thanks to these folks right here. Now, one spot gets you two teams in this half-case break. So let's double your names up. All 30 NBA teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize each list. Two and a six, eight times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got David Bruins down to Jesse T. Two and a six, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got the Memphis Grizzlies all the way down to the Indiana Pacers. All right, so David with the Memphis Grizzlies, Cody with the Pistons, David with the Raptors, Lawrence with the Magic, Logan with the Sixers, Matt McRae with the Cavs and Blazers, Matt Silverstein with the Spurs, Jesse T, Knicks, Mavs, Bucks, Matthew with the Suns, Diane with the Nuggets, Lawrence with the Kings, Logan with the Thunder, Lawrence with the Jazz, Matt with the Clip Show, Rick T with the Pelicans, Cody with the Hawks, Rick with the Bulls, Matt with the Heat, Stephen K with the Nets, Diane with the Wizards, Stephen A with the Rockets, Jesse with the Warriors, Stephen with the My Lakers, Jesse with the Celtics, Stephen Kendrick with the Timberwolves, Lawrence with the Hornets, and Jesse with the Indiana Pacers. All right, let's alphabetize by column B. And remember, before you trade, keep in mind the 2017 draft class. Which I will put on camera right now. Let's take a quick look. Just to give you a little refresher, Markel Fultz is doing okay for Orlando now for the Sixers. Lonzo Ball for the Lakers. Jason Tatum, Celtics. Uh, De'Aaron Fox, uh, Kings. I agree. I think Fultz is a sneaky stash. I agree with you. Uh, Laurie Markinen for the Bulls. Dennis Smith Jr. for a little bit. Mavs. Right? Donovan Mitchell, obviously. Utah Jazz. Bam Adebayo is a big one for the Heat. So this turned out to be a pretty decent draft class. I like John Collins. When healthy. I love Jared Allen. I love his game. There's Jared Allen in the mix. Kuzma. Kuzma rookies down there too. Don't forget about him. Some Josh Hart. And then who else? Maybe anyone in the second round that's interesting? Maybe not, but some decent for... I feel like Bam Adebayo has really made a big turnaround. I think after 2017 and even after 2018, everyone's kind of like, eh, about about the uh, Bam out of bio, but now I think I think he's looking uh, he's looking pretty good now an all star. Oh yeah, Dylan Brooks is doing all right, isn't he? All right, let's open up this case. Megan, what's going on? Ooh, the Duran, yeah, congrats. So there's the fresh case right here. Let's pop this open. Is this the right case? Prism Blaster 17. Just got to make sure I'm grabbing the right cases here. All right, so let's try to reorganize these here. All right, so there's one, two. All right, let me turn on. Why is the Nick Cam not on? Nick Cam go. There's a camera above my head, isn't there? All right, well, I'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. So there's all the box right there. So there's 10 on the left side and 10 on the right side, right? You can see four rows of five. So here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the left side. And then there's two, four, six, eight, ten on the right side. We're going to roll the die. We'll go one, two, three for the left side, 
four, five, six for the right side. And it's going to be one. You see one all the way over there? So we'll go one, we'll go left side right here, and these we will save for next time. So this is technically break number two, so these are going to be for break number one. So we'll mark all of these. Sorry, I'll bring back the, the team page again in just a second. I know people are trying to trade. Um, Megan, yes, I did do the promo. That video should be uploaded. Did it not publish? Oh, let me click publish. Video is now uploaded. I'm going to mark all these number one so we know that these are all from the same case. There you go. Nice little blast. Blaster blast from the past, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's bring it. So these are the boxes we're going to do right here. We'll leave that as is. There's the mixer promo set right there and any trades sixers thunder for trade nets t wolves or trade pelicans up for trade logan would trade thunder sixers for jazz if lawrence is around keep the video running All right, trade window going once, trade window going twice. Trade window closed, T-W-U-C. And there's a link to the draft class right there just so you can have those players there. There's two, four, six, eight and ten. I'm going to open up a couple of these at a time. So just standard blaster fare. Four cards per pack, six packs per box, green pulsars, blah, 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 blah. One autograph or memorabilia card per box on average. Generally speaking, the autos are, what, maybe three or four per, per case. Logan, what are you what are you booing? Are you booing the trade window closing? I don't think Lawrence was gonna give up the jazz. Unless you were trying to hoodwink Lawrence. You wouldn't be the kind of person that would hoodwink someone. Personals of 17? I did see another blaster case in the back. Correct, Matt McCray. Generally speaking, uh, from what I remember from recent years and this current year, gener each case generally has three to four autographs. Generally. But I don't think, I mean, there could be instances where there's zero autographs. So there's not like a hobby case, you know, um, where you're guaranteed X, X amount of autographs or anything like that. Good, good reverse psychology from Logan, saying the jazz stink. Good luck. We got DJ Wilson, Caleb Swanigan, some blasts from the past. There's Donovan Mitchell, Relic. It's 
pretty good. I've heard of him. That goes to, did I print out this list? I did not. Come on, Joe. Lawrence with the Jazz. So this is the standard veteran comments, don't ship, you know, but stuff like this, obviously will ship, inserts will ship, silvers will ship, Kobe will ship, RIP. Here's another quick look at the, uh, the list again, the final printout. Thanks for hanging with us on a Saturday, boys and girls. Really appreciate that. foreground here all right and Josh Hart relic Lakers that goes to it's another one for Steven Arundel are we saving Kuzma as well I suppose so just just because Lakers homerism but nice bam out of bio not a silver out of bio, but still a solid rookie. John Collins. Ben, oh, this is a year after Ben Simmons' rookie year. Iguodala. Vucevic. John Collins. Greens. So obviously, these will ship. Reggie Jackson Green will ship. They're not numbered, though. Maurice Harkless. OG. Do we like OG Anuobi? I do. Raptors playing some good basketball. Lonzo. Another Lonzo for Steven and the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma. Silver. There you go. Well, silvers can carry some weight value-wise. There you go. This is the, the, one, the one youngster who survived the purge. And that Anthony Davis deal. He survived. I don't think he's even halfway through the season. I don't think he's quite settled in just yet on that Lakers team. But hopefully he'll get there come playoffs. We're gonna we're gonna need him. My Lakers. We're gonna need him. John Sadaro, there you go. You're welcome for that Zion. There he is. Saw the Zion in, the, in another different blaster break that we did. That was strong. But it might be worth grading when you get it, John. I think you can still sell it raw for a pretty penny. So congrats to you. Good luck, everybody. You're welcome. Hey, thank you for thank you for getting in. You got to thank Random.org too for helping you out there. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. There's Dan Smith Jr., Mavs. Jesse T. Piece of his relic. 
I feel like he had a great first half of the season with the Mavs, right? And then I think tailed off a little bit. You know, I hope that that he can he can come back. He can bounce back, right? Sorry, Spolstra for the Heat. Miles Turner, silver. Thomas Bryant, silver. I don't think he's on the Lakers anymore, is he? Wizards, maybe? That'll go to the Lakers. That'll go to Steven Arindel. Markeith Morris, green for the Wizards. Oh, and we got Sammy Ojale. Boston Celtics, Jesse T. Thomas Bryant, yeah, with the with the Wizards now, right? Blackout, I think I think you're right. Nice, green pulsar, Bam Adebayo, eight out of twenty-five. These are exclusive to these blaster boxes. He's an all-star now, Matt McCray. Goes to the Heat. Be like first year, people really liked him. That was like a maybe a, a sneaky pickup, right? And then the second year, no one was talking about Bam Adebayo. No one was happy. So seventeen, eighteen, I remember everyone wanted Bam Adebayo. Miami Heat weren't super expensive, you know. And so everyone was like, "Oh, Bam Adebayo, Bam Adebayo, I want to chase that guy," you know. And then after seven in eighteen, nineteen. Nobody wanted this guy. And now 1920, I feel like he's really come on. You know, he's always had his moments, but he's really come on. That's a great hit. There's Luke Kennard. Pistons. Blackout. You don't like the coach cards, by the way? You don't like the Quinn Snyder? I guess other people didn't either. I don't think they've done I don't think they've done coaching cards since. <laughs> James Harden, silver. Jabari Parker, still on the Bucks, and there's Jamal Crawford. I mentioned this earlier today. It's worth mentioning towards the end of the end of the show. Um, I was uh, when I was driving to work today, listening to. Uh, Listening to ESPN Radio, and I think the show was Dickerson and Eric Dickerson and Hood was the show in the afternoon when I was driving here. Some of you may have caught it. I heard Kendrick Nunn being interviewed on there, part of the All Star festivities. And towards the end of the interview, was, towards the end of the interview, the host, one of the hosts, was like, "So Kendrick, tell us about what you're doing with Panini." My ears perked up, and I was like, "Oh, tell me about Panini." And Kendrick Nunn was like, yeah, I'm in the Panini VIP area in Chicago for the All-Star game. They've got him set up there in a nice little lounge. with, uh, And he's like just hanging out, meeting people, autographing some stuff, autographing some memorabilia. And just chilling. He was sound like he was having a good time. So that was pretty cool to hear. And then after the, after the interview... Um, they uh, they did a little plug for Panini. They were just like, hey, Panini, Panini's an exclusive trading card partner with the NBA. You know, you can go to Target and Walmart and Walgreens to, to go find cards. Or you can go online, you know, local card shop, blah, blah, blah. I thought that was pretty cool. So good job to the Panini publicists. Who've been making sure that uh, that players are getting out there, being interviewed, and shouting out Panini's stuff, a broader audience. I'll bet I'll bet people who aren't familiar with the hobby or the how it's changed are probably listening to that and we was like, wait, what? Basketball cards? People still do that? If that gets a few people looking online, eventually they'll eventually they'll find us. That'd be pretty cool. I thought that was a cool interview. 
every once in a while on MLB Network, you'll see you'll see Topps commercials too, Topps baseball commercials. I like seeing that. Oh, do you hear Panini ads, Logan, at work? I think it's pretty cool. I mean, that's the first time I've ever heard that. Oh, you're seeing people at work re rediscovering the hobby of saying... <laughs> Next box. It's Torn Prince. Jason Tatum. Relic for the Celtics. That's for Jesse. There's Markel Fultz. Gilo, you see ads on Facebook? Well, yeah, that's probably because because they're that's just targeted ad advertising. I'm talking on like TV, radio, it's just kind of cool to cool to hear. They're just really that you know that signals to me that they're you know looking at a more broad audience to try to capture a more broad audience. There's another Bam out of bio for Matt and the Heat. Another Bam out of bio right there for Matt and the Heat. A piece of his jersey. There's John Wall right there too. De'Aaron Fox, emergent. Donovan Mitchell. Just a regular base card for Donovan Mitchell, Lawrence. But maybe we'll still find a hollow in that stack over there. It'll be for the Jazz. All right, Steph Curry, getting hyped. Mike Muscala, Tony Bradley for Lawrence and the Jazz. Not numbered. Jared Allen, I like Jared Allen. I like his game. Maybe Jared Allen needs to be in a dunk contest. Has he ever been invited to a dunk contest? I don't remember. Thomas Bryant, Ryan Anderson, Anthony Davis, Norman Powell. Let's see what we have here at the end. Lori Markinen, Del Vadova, DeAndre Jordan as a Clipper jersey. That'll be for Matt McRae and the Clippers. We got a silver Ante Zizic for the Celtics. Jesse with that one. I mean, these rookie silvers are the ones to chase. And maybe he'll turn into, who knows? Oh, sorry, Cavs. Check that. That goes to Matt McRae. Sorry, Jesse. All right, and there's Lori Markinen. And the last bit here. Bradley Beal, Lance Thomas, Dan Smith Jr., Silver. That's pretty strong. If he makes a bit of a bit of a comeback. That goes to the Dallas Mavericks, Jesse T with that one. That one is yours, Jesse. And there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, that was 10 box, half of a blaster case, break number two, random team two, which sold out before number one of 2017-18 Panini Prism Basketball. We'll see you next time for the next break. This is Joe. Bye-bye.